theft of a duck. Chang, an old farmer, had a large flock of ducks. Once his neighbor Lin stole one of the ducks from Chang's farm and ate it for supper. At midnight, something strange happened. He began to itch all over and feathers started growing on his skin. The next day, Lin was in great pain. At night, a man appeared in his dream and said, "You stole a duck. That's why you are being punished. You will be cured only if you make Chang say you dirty thief." Lin went to meet Chang and confessed his theft of a duck. He requested Chang to say you dirty thief, but Chang refused to say so. Lin then opened his shirt and showed Chang the feathers grown all over his body. Chang felt sorry for him. Sympathetically, he said, "You dirty thief!" Immediately, Lin's feather disappeared. He promised never to steal again. The Donkey of Gizu. In ancient times, there were no donkeys in Gizu. One day, a local man brought a donkey and set it loose at the foot of the mountain. A tiger saw this strange animal with long legs, large ears, black hair, and big eyes. He thought it must be a divine animal, so the tiger hid between the bushes and occasionally peeped at the donkey. After a few days, the tiger decided to have a close look at the interloper. But suddenly, the donkey brayed, and the tiger ran away as fast as he could. After a while, he watched the donkey carefully and observed that though it had a huge body, it had no special ability. The tiger gradually became used to its braying and was no longer so afraid. One day, he walked in front of the donkey. The donkey was too enraged that he kicked the tiger. The gleeful tiger pounced upon the donkey with a loud roar and ate it up. How the rooster got his crown. It was believed that in earlier times there were nine suns in the sky. When there were no rains, the suns began to roast the earth. The people had to live in caves and could not come out during the day. All the wise people gathered to discuss the problem. An adept archer named Yi was called from a remote land. He used his archery techniques and shot the sun's reflections in the pond. Out of nine, eight suns dropped down. Only one survived. Yi was so scared that he hid in a cave and never came out. The earth turned dark. People made all the efforts to persuade the sun. But the sun did not come out. At last, the lowly rooster began singing. The sun was enthralled by the song and appeared. The sun heard the people cheering, enjoyed it, and then returned to the heavens. People rewarded the rooster with a crown for his outstanding achievement in saving the earth. Yi Shen, Yi Shen's life changed after the death of her father. Her stepmother and stepsister treated her badly. Yi Shen's only friend was a beautiful fish with golden eyes. Her stepmother could not see her happy, and one day she cooked the fish for dinner. A sad Yi Shen took the fish bones and kept them in a little jar. One day, her stepmother and stepsister went for the spring festival. Alone, Yi Shen talked to the fish bones and expressed her desire to go to the festival. Suddenly. A beautiful gown and tiny golden slippers appeared out of the jar. Yi Shen looked beautiful and grabbed all the attention at the festival. After the party, she ran and one of her golden slippers fell. The tiny golden slipper was passed on to the king. He sent people to search for the owner of the tiny golden slipper and finally found Yi Shen. The king was fascinated by her beauty and married her. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.